All right, time for the math. Easy solution. We're going to discuss further into integrals and volumes, and I'll look at example six of this video series. And I'm going to solve uh, basically this example, which states: find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region and closed by the curves. Y equals x and y equals x squared. This is the same region um, in my examples four and five videos. But this time we're going to be rotating that region about the line x equals negative 1, which is a vertical uh, line right here. Yeah, so now our uh, first thing we'll do is just graph out uh, these two curves. So this y equals x is just a uh, straight line like that. That's, that's y equals x. And now the x squared is a curve like that. That's y equals x squared. So there is the region enclosed by these two points. And at this point right here, this is at 1. And this you could solve it easily by looking at and just setting these equal to each other. So x squared equals x. And this is only true when x equals to 0 or positive 1. And that's 0 right there. Yeah, and we're going to be rotating this uh, region about the line y equal, I mean x equals 2. Uh, yes, right here, x equals negative 1. So about this line, so draw a dashed line. We're going to be rotating it about this right here. Yeah, so now if, when we rotate about this, uh, what we're going to do is have a mirror image of this on this side. Or we'll just first just draw this like this. So we're going to be rotating this about. And this is a, uh, on this side is going to be a mirror image. So that's, that is the uh, y equals x line. This is the x squared. So there's the region on this side. So this just represents the thickness of the shape we're going to have right here, which is varying thickness. So now we'll just draw this around. So this is the bottom, the top and bottom. And the top and bottom have basically a zero thickness because as you can see at the end points of these, there's this, there, they connect and there's no area there. And yeah, now I'm going to just uh, draw a disk at a random uh, uh, random point. So we're going to pick right over here and rotate this. We'll use a blue color. And now it's as you can see, it's going to have a thickness that is dependent on wherever you are, uh, wherever the segment is. And then draw this across like that. And then draw this again, like dash line representing is behind. And now it's going to, yeah, in, in this case here, we're going to have a vertical thickness right here. And this is going to be our delta y. So because we're rotating it uh, about a vertical line, we're going to have a, the disk is going to have a, a vertical thickness. So in this case, we're going to be dealing with, um, with the y term. So again, this can be like that. So we're going to be dealing with y instead of x. And, uh, and we're going to set up our integral or our volume integral uh, using y instead of x because of we're rotating it about a vertical line and it's much easier doing it this way. Yeah, so as you can see uh, right here, I've drawn this, this uh, just, just to make it easier uh, to see without all these lines. So as you can see, it looks something like this and it has a uh, thickness of delta y. Once again, we're using y instead of x. So everything we're going to write this as y for the volume integral. And, and for that integral, we're going to need to find out this area right here. And again, we're going to write this as a of y right here. And now this equals 2. This is just going to be uh, pi r outer squared. This is just the area of the uh, full circle right here. Now we're going to su subtract by the inner circle. And that's just pi r inner squared right here. So now we have to find out these two values. So this inner one right here, this is going to be, well, from here to this inner uh, radius, that's going to be r inner. And this equals 2 when we look up. So as you can see, um, that's, that's from basically here up to this point right here, which is the y equals x line. So now we'll have to break it up into two stuff right here. This is just going to be 1 because this distance right here is equal to opposite value of negative 1. That's just equals to 1. So that distance, and so it's 1 plus now this one here, we have to write it in terms of uh, y. So this is just equal to x equals y. So 1 plus x. So that's our inner radius. 
I mean, no, 1 plus y right here. 1 plus y. That's what x equals. 1 plus y. And now we find out the outer radius. And that's the same thing. We're going to have to have 1 plus. But now we're going to be dealing with this square. Uh, yeah, this uh, y, equal, y equals x squared side. So that's up to here. And now the distance between, well, from here to the zero, this one is, is uh, we're dealing with this right here, but we have to write it in terms of y, so x equals square root of y. So then, uh, so that just means we're going to be adding square root of y, so that's our outer uh, radius. So now we have our volume, I mean our area in terms of y, this equals to pi, our outer, 1 plus square root of y, all squared, minus the inner one, pi, 1 plus y squared. So now we could just expand these, factor out the, the pi. So uh, expand these out. This is just going to be 1 plus, or factor these out, 1 plus. Uh, now this is 2 square root of y. These two multiplied by each other equals y. And now we subtract, so the pi is out of there already. So this is going to be subtracted by, this is going to be 1 squared. So that's just 1, and then these two add up minus 2y. We have a minus because there's a minus right here. Now this one right here is just going to be y times y is y squared, but there's a minus, so we put a minus there. Now we uh, just basically add up and, and cancel these, these two out. These cancel, these add up. So we'll get pi 2 squared y minus, these add up to negative y, and now minus y squared. So that is our area and now we could solve the volume like how we've done it uh, by basically finding the integral from from uh, the re region endpoints or 0 to 1 of now the area of that uh, segment which is going to be a y a of y and then times it by well um, this is just going to be dy which is our infinitely small delta y yeah so now we could just plug everything in so 0 to 1 of this pi 2 square root of y minus y minus y squared dy. So now we could just take the integral. This is just, just going to be, we'll factor the pi out. So uh, square root of, of y squared, that's just going to, I mean, uh, integral of that is just going to be y 3 over 2. So we add a power to it. There's a 2 already. So now we multiply by 2 and 3. So just flip it up. Uh, just flip this top and bottom. So now we have minus this one here is going to be y squared, same thing. Now this is going to be y cubed over 3 from 0 to 1. But in this case, we can ignore the 0 because when you add them inside, it just cancels out. So this equals 2 pi. Put the 1 in, we'll just have a 4 of 3 minus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. Yeah, so now when we add these two up, uh, these like terms will get equals to pi 3 over 3 minus 1 over 2. That's just 1, so equals pi 1 minus 1 over 2. And 1 minus 1 over 2 is just 1 over 2. So we'll get pi over 2, and that is our final answer. Anyways, yeah, hopefully you learned from this example. It's pretty intensive. And I, I wanted to make sure I explained it as clearly as I could. Anyways, so hopefully you learned from this video. And like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another Math Easy solution.